Yo, 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 guys, what's up? It's Grim356, and I'm here to show you my new lock. Thank God it's finished. I am so bored with locks at the moment, so this will probably be my last lock video for quite a while. At least I hope so right now. And, well, let's just get this over with. <laughs> so, this kind of lock is the same as my my log in the last log video is a response to a color code and the code by default apparently is yellow yellow blue blue and um, this lock of course also has the feature of um, well, well you're you're able to change your pin just like on the last two locks I've made so yeah that's nice and um, I really like this design compared to my last lock because it's really used to build, it's basically just repetition. So, yeah, and you're actually also able to push the buttons here a lot faster than you are on this one, and that is because I have, well, put in four clocks which are represented by this red wool. Uh, and the clocks ensures that h even though how fast I uh, push these buttons, a signal will uh, pass through to onto this uh, green wool lane. Yeah, but anyway, let me just demonstrate demonstrate how it works. So, if I change these colors, for example, with all locks. And uh, yeah, basically we just need to change this back to blue. So let's do that. And one more. And as you can see, the door opens. So um, now, when the door is open, I'm now able to reprogram it. I wasn't before, because that would uh, defeat the purpose of uh, being able to program the code. From uh, here. So anyway, what we're going to do is pull this lever like that, and uh, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, guys, my voice is really hoarse right now. But anyway, what this lever does is it disables. Well, it uh, here um, it prevents the signal from uh, passing from the green lanes to the blue platforms so now I'm just uh, when I push the button I'm just shuffling the punch card readers which are down here so say I want to make the code blue 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 stupid code I know but we're gonna do it anyway so all you have to do is flip the switch again which um, enables signals to go to the platforms and then you can just um, shuffle again and the door locks and uh, to open the lock again all you need to do is to change it back to what you just changed the pin to be so we're going to change this back to blue like so and the door opens so that's how that works um, yeah, what happens is when I enter the correct code, blue, 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 all the signals on the blue platforms are here, as you can see. They are all at the end. That means I will have a signal inverted on the purple lane, which is my output from the lock. This output goes all the way down here and opens the door but what it also does is it raises this piston and enables me to use this function which is the changing pin function so when I flip this I lower these purple uh, well pistons I retract the purple wool so a signal can press through to the blue platforms and that means I can just shuffle this 
these punch card readers as I want and when I'm done I'll just flip this up again and the signals will still be at the end and I'll have my new code um, uh, programmed and um, yeah all done so that is my video guys that is my luck hope you enjoyed it and um, yeah see you in the next city update so um thank you thank you for watching and uh, remember to subscribe and uh, like the video so i'll see you later bye